In today's lesson, we're going to focus on converting fractions to decimals, basically mentally, in your head, without using long division. Sometimes you want to be able to get the answer quickly, and I'm going to show you how. But first, we need to do some memorization. So you, hopefully you have a sheet of paper and you have a pen to take down some notes. So you want to commit this to memory. 1 over 2 is equal to 0.5. 1 over 3 is 0.3 repeating. 1 over 4 is 0.25. 1 over 5 is 0.2. 1 over 6 is 0.16 repeating. 1 over 7 is not very common, but I'll go ahead and write it here for those of you who are interested. It's 0.142857. Five, seven. But if I have something with a 7 in the bottom, I'm just going to round this to 0.143, you know, just to get an approximation. 1 over 8 is 0.125. 1 over 9 is 0.1 repeating. 1 over 10 is 0.1. 1 over 100 is 0 0.01. Notice the pattern. And 1 over 1,000 is is 0 0.001. Going to the nines, 2 over 9 will be 0 0.2 repeating, 4 over 9 will be 0 0.4 repeating, 23 over 99 will be 0 0.23 repeating, 17 over 99 will be 0 0.17 repeating, 247 over 999 will be 0 0.247 repeating. So there's a pattern when you're dealing with the nines. Now, here's some other less common fractions, but you can add them to the list. 1 over 16 is 0 0.0625. 1 over 20 is 0 0.04. 1 over, actually, I take that back. That's 0 0.05. 1 over 25 is 0 0.04, because 25 times 4 is 100. 1 over 20 is 0 0.05 because 20 times 5 is 100. Notice the pattern. 1 over 50 is 0 0.02 because 50 times 2 is 100. And 1 over 100 is 0 0.1 because 100 times 1 is 100. That's the way you can see it. So those are the main ones to know. If you know these fractions, for the most part, you can quickly do most fractions that you'll see, uh, you'll be able to convert them to a decimal uh, mentally in your head. So let's work on some examples. Go ahead and convert these fractions to decimals without using long division and without using a calculator. Now, 2 over 3 is basically 2 times 1 over 3. And we know that 1 over 3 is point through repeating. That's on our list. So 2 times 3 is 6, so this is going to be 0.6 repeating. Now, 3 fourths is basically 3 times 1 over 4. 1 over 4 we know is 0.25. 3 quarters is 75 cents, so 3 times 0.25 is 0.75. Now, 4 fifths, this is 4 times 1 over 5. We know that 1 over 5, that's on the list, that's 0.2. 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 0.2 is 0.8. See how fast you can convert a fraction to a decimal? if you know those numbers. Let's try some more. Go ahead and convert some, let's work on some improper fractions where the numerator is greater than the value of the denominator. Try those three. Now for improper fractions, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna simplify it first. Nine over four, I'm gonna break nine into eight and one because eight plus one is 9, but I'm going to split it into two fractions. So 9 over 4 is 8 over 4 plus 1 over 4. The reason why I use those two numbers is because 8 is the highest multiple of 4, just under 9. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And we know what 1 fourth is. That's on the list. 1 fourth is 0 0.25. So 2 plus 0.25 is 2.25. So that's what you can do to convert an improper fraction to a decimal mentally. 8 over 5, we can write that as 5 over 5 plus 3 over 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 
and we know that 3 over 5, that's not on the list, but 3 over 5, we can write that as 3 times 1 over 5. Now, 1 over 5 is in our list. 1 over 5 is 0.2, and 3 times 0.2, 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times 0.2 is 0.6, so this is going to add up to 1.6. So 8 over 5 as a decimal is 1.6. Now, 35 over 8. The highest multiple of 8 just under 35 is 32. And 35 minus 32 is 3. So we got these two numbers. 32 divided by 8 is 4. 3 eighths, I'm going to write that as 3 times 1 over 8. Now, we know that 1 over 8 is 0.125. That's on the list. So what's 3 times 0.125? 125 times 3. What is that? 100 times 3 is 300. 25 times 3 is 75. So 125 times 3 is 375. So 3 times 0.125 is 0.375. So we'll get this answer. 35 over 8 will be 4.375. Go ahead and try these. Let's go back to proper fractions. 3 over 10, 5 over 20, 7 over 100. Let's do that for now. So 3 over 10, this is 3 times 1 over 10. And 1 over 10, we know it's 0.1, so 3 times 0.1 is 0.3. 5 over 20 is 5 times 1 over 20. 1 over 20, we know that's on the list, that's 0.05. 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 times 0 0.05 is 0.25. Now, sometimes you could reduce the fraction. So for that particular problem, it's actually easier to do it this way. 5 is 5 times 1, 20 is 5 times 4. We could cancel a 5, we get 1 fourth, which is on the list, and that's 0.25. So it's good to check to see if you can reduce the fraction before you convert it to a decimal. Now, 7 over 100 is 7 times 1 over 100. And we know that 1 over 100 is 0 0.01. 7 times that will be 0 0.07. So once you know the decimal values of a few basic fractions, you can use that to find the decimal values of other fractions. Let's work on two more examples, 4 over 25 and also 17 over 1,000. So we can't reduce either of these two fractions, so we need to do it this way. So 4 over 25 is 4 times 1 over 25. And 1 over 25, that's on the list, that's 0 0.04. 4 times 4 is 16, so this is going to be 0.16. Now, 17 over 1,000, that's 17 times 1 over 1,000. We know that 1 over 1,000 is 0 0.001. If we multiply 17 by that number, we'll get 0 0.017. So that's how you can quickly convert a fraction to a decimal without the use of a calculator or without using long division. A little memorization is required, but once you know those 5, 10 fractions that I gave you, maybe it was like 12 or 15, if you know those, you can easily, quickly figure out the decimal value of other composite fractions.